Hello there. Today I'm going to be reacting and breaking down Weight of the World. The end of your hub from Near Automata. Boom. No way. <laughs> the composer did a... Uh, <laughs> it's an 8-bit intro. Or maybe it's an entire song made in 8-bit. This is really cool. Yeah, this is absolutely evocative of the NES Master System, Sega Master System era. It's a beautiful melody. Oh, wait. It's transitioning into some... In a It wasn't an, an 8-bit intro after all. That's pretty cool. That was a great transition in between the strings and the piano section. Uh, that that chord in the piano had a, a lot of tension there. Is this like a? Is this a kid's choir? Or te it sounds more like a teenage choir. <laughs> sounds very beautiful. It's really in a supporting role, it's not overtaking the whole song. I like it. Well, first I have to mention one of the most defining cues of the song, which is the intro. It is, of course, an A-bit section that is so evocative of the times of the NES and the Sega Master System. And oh boy, I was lucky enough to have grown playing games in those platforms, and I get an instant infusion of nostalgia. But even nowadays, there's plenty of indie video games made with 8-bit graphics that newer generations get to experience with, you know, retro soundtracks like Shovel Knight or Bloodstained. And therefore, I think it is a great unifying bonding experience that we can enjoy across different cohorts of them. Now, I do wonder how this retro section actually plays a role in the storytelling of the game. Maybe it was done for a less complicated purpose, like trying something different. You know, I just had this crazy idea in which your character travels back in time, and in-game you play an 8-bit level based on what's happening in the game. Aside from that, this actually sounds like the main theme of a film or a game. It is a bittersweet tune that speaks of trials and tribulation that is heavily represented in the way the singer performed the melodies. Also, what it seems to be a teenage choir supporting that premise, and the lack of intense percussion and brass for that matter, having only the strings carrying the chord progression in a yearning, almost mixed feeling of fulfillment and self-doubt. And speaking of... 
those two sentiments are evoked in the lyrics so well because we're gonna shout it loud even if our words seem meaningless it's like i'm carrying the weight of the world i wish that some way somehow that i can save every one of us but the truth is that i'm only one girl and that's pretty much the character having self-doubt and recognizing that her quest is extremely important Perhaps the fate of the world is in her hands. But then it says, maybe if I keep believing, my dreams will come to life. Which is of course self-reassuring and hopeful. So it is a very cool back and forth which gives the song not only congruency with the music, but also a balance of the feels. I can definitely see this song being played in the actual credits of the game or, you know, the final cinematic, essentially the ending of the game because it really does channel that quality, you know, the swan song, the swan song quality, the goodbye quality, the ending of the journey quality. By the way, if you made it this far, thank you so much. So while you're at it, why don't you put your weight on that like button? Yeah, this song has a quality of... Okay, it's mixing English with Japanese. This seems to be the choir, the chorus, apologies. This is probably chaos language, isn't it? Yeah, this is not definitely not Japanese. Makes sense. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Great arrangement. But like I was saying, it has a quality of the end of a journey. Perhaps it's one of the final songs of the game. There it is. Now the choir overtakes more of the song because the main uh, vocals are absent of it. So there's more space for the choir to come in. The A bit Q was doing this melody, the vocal melody of the choir, I think. Well, not necessarily. What's up from the verse, is it? And it's now it's just the choirs. The the transitions were so seamless. <laughs> hey if you enjoyed this video check this other near automata reaction that i did right i'll see you there <laughs>